Okay, this is what you look like when you first uh, open up the uh, panel like this here. Uh, and you can see inside. And what you're going to do, you're going to want to cycle this thing on. Because this has a sequencer on it, and that uh, can be noted right there. It's going to turn these elements on in sequence. So, uh, you may have the thermostat turned up, or you can do like I'm doing right here. And I'm going to jump from R to W1. And right after I do that, I'm going to go to this top sequencer. See if I can get that to where you can see it. Okay, you can see that element's on. The fan, if there's no fan on this thing, but if there's a fan, it would have come on with the first element. As soon as that one comes on, I go to the second element. And I'm looking there at that second element, and I'm waiting for it to come on. Now this one's actually a fairly long time. A lot of these will turn on faster than that. Okay, there goes your second one on. Normally these things are going to draw around 20 amps. That's pretty normal for these things. Occasionally you'll get something that's uh, like a 12.5 kW and it'll have uh, uh, two 5 kWs and a two and a half or something like that. But mostly that's it. So this furnace has cycled on. Now if I want to watch it cycle off, I disconnect and there my first one already dropped out so I take my clamp meter and I go to the other one okay the top one is still on you see the wire that goes back to the uh, element that I've got clamped and at this point the fan should be running and that first element and this is kind of the cool down cycle of the furnace that uh, second element's off this one here should cut off in a minute just did uh, so it is cycled off and that's sequencing of the electric furnace